This is Charlie Parsons for Boxing Social here with the main man from Ipswich, Mr. Fabio Wardley. Fabio, a couple of days away. Bella is distracting me. He's the one under pressure. The I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Thanks for that, mate. Yeah, Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Um, Look, there's a bit of a crowd behind me just judging my interview. I've got to say, I'm a bit bit put off here. Look, Nathan Gorman, big step up for you. A uh, really big fight Saturday night. How excited are you? Yeah, buzzing, buzzing. Buzzing to get a, get into a really big event. It's it's great to be part of events like this. Like, I've done a few in my time and, and been co main event to, to another big show as well. So it's nice to be here. I like I like the buzz of, of fight week. I like the buzz of a big show and the crowd that comes with it. Obviously, on Dillian White's card, Dillian White returns against Jermaine Franklin. Obviously, you're managed by him. I was speaking to Bella a couple of weeks back, and she just spoke about loyalty, the bond that you and Dillian have got. Gets you out on these big cards, but also you're cementing a name where, you know, you wouldn't even necessarily have to be with Dillian, but loyalty is an important one to speak about. Yeah, it's massive. It's massive to me. Um, I love, I, like, I, like, he's looked out for me, and, and I like to look out for him and do what, do what I can. Like, like you say, he's put me on big shows like this, and I like to repay the favour. How does his fight with Jermaine Franklin go? I know that you know a win here then puts him in contention. I think they're eyeing up that Anthony Joshua fight. Um, just your thoughts? Yeah, I think it's a great fight. It's a great fight. Dill's always known to go go for the harder option. Um, if there's if there's a list of options laid in front of him, nine times out of ten he's always picking the hardest one because he he loves he loves that challenge. He thrives off that kind of thing to have that have that pressure on him and and come through on those big moments. And he always likes to put himself in them kind of high risk, high reward situations. And I think this is another one for him that going against a, an unbeaten prospect, someone who's who's game, who's confident in themselves and Jermaine Franklin. So it's gonna be a good fight on the night. And then hopefully he comes through and he gets that big AJ fight next year. Before we go on to your fight with Gorman, I've got to ask about that big AJ fight. How does that go? <sighs> It's a, it's a, no, it's a hard one. I, I would, I'd be honest, and like, and it's going to be hard because everyone will say it's, it's biased, but I do genuinely believe he beats him. I believe they're in both in very different positions in their career. They've both had a few losses now, but I feel like the bounce back for Dill has been very different to AJ's, and I feel like his Dill's whole demeanour now is is different to how it's been over the past few years or so. He's really removed himself from this from obviously living here and taking himself away and training abroad and just removed himself from all distractions and you can see it now like even when I saw him earlier in the week I just like looked at him and said like you look like serious like and don't get me wrong he's always looked pretty dangerous but he looks in serious shape and he looks like he's really kind of got that old mentality back where he's just really to do some damage to someone. Look, on to your fight. How has training camp been? I've heard a few whispers, that, you know, things that you've been uh, practicing away from sparring, you've then been doing perfectly in sparring. Um, from what I'm hearing, it's been a really good camp. Yeah, it has. It has. I've, I've said a few times, it's like a, it's kind of an old boring cliche to say, oh yeah, I've had the best camp ever. It's been great. Oh my God. But it genuinely has. Um, we've, like I say, we've, we've added to the training team. We've been working on some new bits and they've been coming off really well. And I'm I'm really happy with the team and really happy with the progression we've been making, the bits we've added to my game. So I'm, I'm really excited going into this fight. Can I ask you mentally, you know, you've been in big events, but this is, you know, sort of a, a coming out party as such. You've made your name, but this really propels you onto the heavyweight scene. Are you feeling the pressures of it at all? Not so much, no. Like, it's funny because with me, I always just feel like being here is even a bonus in itself. Like... The, it's like the age-old story with me, like, oh, white-collar fighter comes from me and done that. Like, So if you look back at it, realistically, I probably shouldn't be on these kind of shows, be and having these kind of fights. So everything's a bonus. So I don't feel the pressure more so. I just feel excited to be here and buzzing to be in front of a crowd on Saturday night doing what I do best, and that's boxing. Can I ask you, not for a prediction as such, but how do you expect, without giving the game plan away, how do you expect this fight to play out? Just go in there and hit him more than he hits me. And hopefully my hand gets raised at the end. Is that, you know, can we be hinting at a potential stoppage for the title of the video? Nah, like with me always, always. I'm always looking for that stoppage. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not hunting for it. It's not forcing it. But if it's there, there's no way I'm missing that opportunity. If there's an opportunity to get him out of there, I'm cleaning him out. Just finally from me, on the topic that you spoke about, you know, you started in white collar. You don't, you know, it's mad that your name is on these bills, but you put in the hard work and you've done it sort of the hard way as such, coming from an area that you're from. It's not a big boxing place, so, you know, you've done it and you've put it on the map for that perspective. Is there ever any moments where you sort of pinch yourself and you think, you know, I've done this through my own hard work and it's transformed and it's propelled me onto this level? 
Yeah, there's a few moments where I sit there for a second and go, God, hang on, I've actually, I've not done too bad here. Eh? God, I'm a, I might be all right at this. But um, I try not to sit in their moments for too long, especially not during, during a fight camp. Maybe after the fight's done, when I've got the belt and I'm just sat at home on the sofa just watching TV with the belt on, I'll be like, I might have done all right here. Yeah? I might have done something here. I'll be top man. Thank you for speaking to me to Boxing Social. Just a final message, your sponsors and your fans rooting for you. Big up everyone that sponsored me. Thank you. Get them in. Thank you guys. On the shoulders, on the shoulders. And to my fans, fans, that still sounds funny to say. To everyone that supports me, thank you. And it's going to be a big night Saturday night.